This video demonstrates a ball drop test using Lodestar Sensor's Impact Force Sensor Kit. The Impact Force Sensor Kit includes an Impact Force Sensor, a USB interface, and high-speed software. Customers have used the sensor solution to characterize impacts on helmets, cell phones, VR headsets, EV batteries, and safety harnesses. This solution has also been used to test rocket thrust forces, design drone landing gear, and help minimize gun recoil. The impact sensor comes pre-calibrated with a load cell between a metal base plate and a platform on which you can conduct your test. The impact sensor needs to be mated with a high-speed USB interface before use. Attach the power supply and the USB cable to the interface. All necessary cables are included in your purchase. Connect the other end of the USB cable to a PC. Insert the USB drive with the software into your PC's USB port. Right-click on the setup file and run as administrator to install the software. It is important to run InstaCal on your PC to recognize the impact sensor. Once the impact sensor is found, you can start LV1000HS10K. This program runs on any Windows 8, 10, or 11 PC with at least 16 GB of RAM. Select and set up the sensor with updated details in the software. Input the sensor serial number, type, channel, and calibration value indicated on your calibration certificate, which includes a calibration record of the applied known loads and measured voltages. The first test we will be conducting is a metal ball drop test onto a metal plate. Set the capture time and sampling rate in the software. Then identify the file into which the data should be logged. Then zero the sensor. Make sure the voltage reading under the zero button is approximately half volt. Click start to capture data for a few seconds without dropping the ball to get an idea of the noise in the signal. The noise of the sensor should be around 0.1% of full scale. To minimize noise, please turn off all cell phones. Plug the interface power supply into its own outlet. There shouldn't be any other electronics sharing the same electrical outlet. Keep the interface, sensor, and cables away from other electronics, like fans, pumps, and transformers. For the actual drop test, select time duration, max data rate, and the file where the data is logged. Then press start and drop the ball from your desired height onto the sensor. For our test we are dropping a 28 gram ball from about 3 feet. The software will display force versus time plot. By selecting graph in the top menu bar in zoom, you can zoom in by selecting the desired area to see a more detailed view of the peak force. You can also see the duration of the impact. Simply right click to unzoom. The second test is a metal ball drop test onto a mouse pad over the metal plate. The process to view the graph results will be the same as the metal ball to metal plate drop test. You can see the peak force is lower with the mouse pad, and the duration of the impact is longer than the metal to metal test. You can then compare the results from both drop tests. Using the graph overlay option, you can select the data files you saved earlier and view both graphs together. The overlay graph helps display the difference in impact force on a metal plate and mouse pad. Using the zoom and scroll function, you can zoom in on the peak forces and compare the two different peak forces. You can also view captured data as an Excel file, containing the peak and low force, as well as the timestamp data. As you can see, our solution helps you to visualize the noise, peak impact forces from the dropped balls, as well as the forces from the bounces after the initial drop. You can use the region of interest tool to find the peak force within any time interval. Our impact force measurement solution is easy to use and intuitive to understand. Leading companies have used it successfully to get good results. Use it for your particular application. We hope you found this video useful. Please contact us if you would like to purchase an impact force sensor or have any questions.